Once upon a real time, there were two very different prophets serving in Jerusalem at the same time. The first was called in his older age and preached repentance for a short time before being warned to take his family and flee Jerusalem before its destruction. The other was called as a young man and commanded by the Lord not to marry or have children because of the impending doom. He preached repentance for many, many years to the people of Judah, even as the city was destroyed and the people were carried away captive. Can you guess their names? Yeah, it's Lehi and Jeremiah. The two could have been mission companions or fellow prophets, seers, and revelators. We don't know for sure, but we do know that they both preached in Jerusalem at the same time, and Nephi later wrote about Jeremiah. Now, because God's covenant people are about to be destroyed, God actually sends many prophets between 640 and 586 BC to warn Judah to repent and save themselves from the horrors ahead. So, besides Jeremiah and Lehi, God sends Zephaniah, Nahum, Habakkuk, and Obadiah, who we'll discuss over the next few weeks. Jeremiah is born into a righteous family, the son of a priest. He receives his calling when he's about 20 years old, when the Lord tells him, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and set you apart and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. But Jeremiah stammers, who, me? I don't know how to speak. I'm too young. However, just like with Enoch, the Lord reassures Jeremiah, Don't say you're too young, and don't be afraid of them. I am with you and will rescue you. You must go and say whatever I command you. Then the Lord touches Jeremiah's mouth and says, I have put my words in your mouth. Likewise, God knew you and me before we were born and sent us to earth with a mission and a plan. But unlike us, He remembers all we did and achieved during our pre-earth life, and He knows our potential. Later, Jeremiah shares God's frustration with the people. Why can I not mold you like clay in the potter's hands, as you are in my hands, Israel? Yep, the house of Israel has become like clay left out too long, hard, immovable, and crunchy, ripe for getting tossed out. But instead of scrapping Israel like unusable clay, the Lord takes them through the painful process of softening their hearts by allowing them to be sieged, conquered, and carried away to other lands to be reformed. Now, we know that quickly adding water to hard, dried up clay won't make it soft. It's a long process of slowly adding water and then painstakingly kneading it. Likewise, the softer our hearts, the easier it is for the Lord to reshape us. The Lord basically says, you're the clay and I'm the potter and I know what I'm doing. And though painful, he'll mold us if we're submissive. So we need to allow ourselves to be molded into greatness and plead with him to help soften our hearts. Meanwhile in Jerusalem, the people of Judah have grown increasingly zealous about following the law of Moses by going to the temple and outwardly doing some good huh? things. But they're also doing some pretty bad things too, like breaking commandments and continuing to worship false gods. And so finally, after ignoring all of Jeremiah's and the other prophets' heavy warnings, Jerusalem is completely destroyed in 587 BC, and the people are either killed or taken captive. Oof. Now surely God won't measure our life by putting all of our good and bad deeds on a scale and seeing which weighs more. Rather, He'll measure our heart. So don't act like the people who rejected Jeremiah and the other prophets. You can't just pile up a bunch of good deeds so you can do all the bad you want. Today, we have 15 men called as prophets, seers, and revelators. What warnings are they giving us? Are we following them? Or, like the people of Judah, 
Are we rolling merrily along, oblivious to impending doom and ignoring the prophet's warnings? Now Jeremiah, along with many other prophets, often repeated this plea from the Lord, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people. This is God's great plea, for us to choose Him to be our God and choose to be His people. He made the earth, and He wrote the directions for our happiness. And though He won't ever force us, He knows that choosing to follow Him is the only path to eternal happiness and joy. Jeremiah is the only biblical prophet who's in Jerusalem before, during, and after the Babylonian siege. Next week, we'll learn more about his prophecies. It takes a lot to make these videos, so to keep Line Upon Line free for everyone, consider donating through Patreon. The link's in the description below. And thanks for watching. This episode is packed with info, so you might want to watch it again to make sure you didn't miss anything, including the hilarious jokes. If you feel this video has helped you on your path towards truth and Christian discipleship, please subscribe and share. Most importantly, go read the scriptures for yourself.